I don't know. I saw this game. I can't tell if this game is going to be boring as fuck or good. But that's like all games on Sub Sunday. Let's see what we got here. It is Team 17, though, so Team 17, you know. They they make some pretty solid... Uh, they publish some pretty solid games. Uh, what? I don't understand. That was so random. Okay, buddy, okay, buddy. Wait, I don't understand. Why? What do you mean? What do you mean I can't log in? I do not English right now. Oh my god! Apparently it worked the third time. Hey! Welcome to King of the Castle. King of the Castle is a social storytelling game you play with friends as a party game via browsers or with your Twitch chat. I got one of those. You play the monarch of a fantasy kingdom playing through events and making decisions. Players can join your games as nobles in the council who come from one of three regions. Nobles can vote on certain decisions and schemes to usurp you. You must survive and get your heir onto the throne. Customize your monarch so that your reign has personal flair, then start a new dynasty. The fuck? I'll link my Twitch account. Should better be fucking easy like I press a button, goddammit. You do, you just press a button. There's a, an exten extension. Fuck that. Nobody likes exten extensions. Okay. Options. Customization. Here you can customize your monarch and noble character. Certain customizers are only available to who bought the game. Lol. Uh, wait, so I am the king, right? How do I know who the king is? This is your Counts of the East. Barons, this is your monarch. Okay, so if I'm gonna be the monarch, well, here we go. Okay. I lost an eye in the great battle of militia shit. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we got a nice beard going maybe? Maybe a nice beard? Okay. Okay. All right, chill, chill. Chill. We had fucking long ass hair. We wore no crown because we wanted to be with the people, okay? Yes. We believe in no crown. But I had the fucking drip and the scepter. Oh fuck, that, the proportions are good there. Nah, man, I had the fucking drip, all right? Come on, man, what the fuck you think this is, dude? Of course I had the fur coat. You can't change the color here? Come on, man. I'm gonna, hold on, let me turn this up. Wait, region setting. I'm not gonna customize everybody. Fuck that shit. We're gonna be here all day. I mean, the crown's actually kind of drippy. Fuck you guys, actually. I'm getting, I'm getting a crown. All right. 
I'm getting a fucking crown. All right, the crown color needs to match. Yeah, fuck that. I'm getting the goddamn crown. Okay, uh, I think we did everything here, right? All right, the monarch, new dynasty. Monarch name, uh, he, him, she, her, they, them. Uh, monarch name, dynasty name. Dynasty name. Chat, what the fuck are we doing here? Monarch name. My name is fucking, uh... Of course. Sir Lyric- No, it's just Lyric. Dynasty name, Malul. Right? Alright, uh, let's see what we got here. Party game, play on Twitch, stream on Twitch, and your viewers can join your game. Similarly, like typing into chat. Players who have bought the game will appear in the story more often. <laughs> None of you guys have this game. Choose three regions. The Barons are brash rural lords famous for their belligerence and fondness for hunting. The Chiefs are honorable warriors renowned for their pagan religion and prowess in combat. The North! The Counts are ruthless aristocrats steeped in secrecy. Allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven. They sound cool. The Grandees are impassioned duelists known for their strict adherence to honor, etiquette, and the Ninth God. Yes. The Ninth God. The Patricians are wealthy, seafaring merchants noted for their cleverness, skill, and negotiation, and ornate masks. Fuck that shit. Fucking pagans. Right? Your nobles may now join via Twitch chat with join followed by pronoun. Jesus. Players can join mid-game and their wealth and regions are saved in continued games. What the fuck? How do you know how many people- Oh, it says it. Okay, <laughs> join up. All right, all right. We got people. Yo, how is, is this auto sorting it? Or it totally is. This is kind of interesting. Use the extension, I could. But then, I could. But then I have to like, isn't it a pain in the ass? Aren't extensions fucking annoying? I could, I just don't know. You guys can see like how much gold you have and shit. I, I, I mean, I guess we could. If it's annoying, I could shut it off. Let me see, let me see. What's this game called? King of the Castle? Okay, I think this is it. Your region, wealth, and scheme. Add, later, activate, set as overlay one. All right, I think I did it. Tell me if you guys see an overlay. Chad, do you guys see it works? Okay. We have 50, well, we'll start at like 2,000 people. I knew you guys were bots. I fucking knew it. I always knew I streamed to fucking library computers. I had a feeling, man. All right, 800, 800 for everybody and we'll go. No, fuck that. 1,000 for everybody and we'll go. <sighs> Whatever, who gives a fuck? We're at 2,100. That's enough. You might still be able to join. King of the Castle Primer. Holy shit. Acquire an heir, then complete your ambition to win. Your first reign will likely end in disaster. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Keep an eye on the region's schemes. If they pass all their stages, they'll win the game. Be careful of the region's defiance stat. If it gets too high, the region may rebel against you. Hey, yo, what region am I a part of? To win past all three stages of your scheme, each stage requires you to get stati stats to certain levels, which are affected in votes. How to vote is up to you for your region's schemes to stop other schemes or for the good of the kingdom. 
If a defiance stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pause your scheme and is risky, especially if you have low military. Each season, you'll get three events to play. Click on one to get started. Oh my god. Okay, authority. The, okay, spring 948, King Lyric. You guys can still join the game. Five authority, 3,000 uh, gold. Five stability. Yeah, what am I part of? The north, the capital, the east? Oh, it's here. This is your monarch, the streamer's character. They appear in most stories, but not all. These are the kingdom's stats. If any of them are zero at the start of a season, the game will end. These are the region stats. Stats determine which events are generated. If defiance is higher than both authority and stability, a region can trigger a rebellion. This will pause their scheme and as risky of military is low. You can scroll through the full list of nobles and their wealth here. Your majesty has scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Shouldn't I be giving the orders now? Of course, your majesty, but to delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Well, we wouldn't want that. As in tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Okay. Shall we call the nobles in? Certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Certain cho Not all choices will that change stats have these choices. Uh, fuck you. Okay, we don't know what you're saying. These are the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. The monarch can change how a vote is run with a law. Set laws for voting. What kind of coronation should be held for the new king? So monarch's choice, select choice. Host a lavish, oh, okay, okay, this tells you everything. Chat, you guys have to vote here. You guys are part of the region. If we do a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine, we drop a thousand gold, but our stability goes up. Proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth god. We could honor the ninth god for faith. Throw the king into the river. The fuck? Troops shall bear the king through the streets atop a shield. Alright, the monarch can mark their preferred voting option. The monarch can take a voting option off the table. Alright, let's go with, uh, mainly because, you know, I see... Uh, I say the troops shall bear the king through the streets atop a shield. Okay. I say that is the way. I say that is the way. Guys, really? 15 seconds remain. I don't think this game can keep up with how many people are typing. Wow. Okay, guys. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Hey, yo, Turbo, Dark One, Takoyaki. What up, guys? Thank you. Why am I not fucking surprised? Ah! Hey, yo, I'll behead everybody who voted here. This was actually a plan made by me and my nobles to see who was trustworthy. This is how we got the people with the daggers out. You fell for the bait. You fell for it. We're about to red wedding this bitch. Voting has closed. Throw the king into the river. This shows which stat has been changed and by how much. It is time that the king will be thrown into the river! No! What? What kind of coronation is that? A very traditional ceremony dating back to Queen Alba the Wise is meant to represent you being reborn as a true king. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. The nobles pick you up and carry you out to the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. When you climb back up the bank, soaking with the channel or step forward and place the crown upon your head as a chair of better or some of those sibling giggles. Ah, that doesn't sound that bad, actually. Okay, bro. Oh, shit, man. I thought I was gonna die, man. 
All right, your stability, nice, bro. People are pogging right now, paying taxes. Council introduction. Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the wintry north, the desolate east, and of course the scorching south. All right, let's check out the north. Ah, good luck in the days ahead, your greatness. You'll need it dealing with us lot. All right. An honor, finally, to make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Okay, may the ninth god bless your reign, your highness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith, of course. All hail the ninth god. Blessed be him. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices. The nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. We pray G every Sunday to the ninth god. The monarch must acquire an heir and complete their ambition to win the game. A spouse is useful but not necessary. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you or before you lose all authority, treasure, stability. Your majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. Your new and unproven, the nobles of the council will scheme against you in hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. Oh no! To defeat the schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is this, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? As the greatest king who ever lived as the father of the nation, as a peacekeeper, as the architect of a new golden age, as a saint. No. As the greatest king who ever lived. I see you're the type who likes to build lots of statues of yourself, aren't you? Yes. I said over the next few years, you focus on improving your authority as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Now that you played all events, advance the game by clicking end season. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Schemes are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. Best skills, your schemes placed in the regions, claim out on the throne, winning the game. Oh. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory. But not while the false king Lyric wears the crown. Hey, yo, fuck you, bitch. What scheme should the counts pursue to overthrow the new king and place their preferred claim at Mezzi on the throne? Hey, yo, there's like 800 of you fucks. We're fucking aging up, man. We already discovered gunpowder. Intimidation, goal, raise others, defiance. Okay. Voting has closed. Intimidation, 88 nobles. The Count's plot to hold the king hostage in his own palace. First, they must distract the spy master. To advance their scheme, the Counts must raise other regions defiance to a combined total of at least six. Or ensure another region begins a rebellion in four seasons. Okay. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. I can't press this button. Okay, I don't know what the fuck just happened. What scheme should the Grandees pursue to overthrow the new king and place their preferred claimant, Zacintha, on the throne? Witch hunt, fervor, excommunication. I can't tell if this game's any good just yet. I, I I can't tell. Yeah, I think you have to remember what group you were assigned to when you vote. So like all of the grandees in the chat are voting. Witch hunt. Okay. Voting has closed. Oh, the extension tells you. Oh, what scheme should the grandees pursue? Witch hunt. Okay, you motherfuckers. Wow, none of these people are working with me. There's all sorts of hearsay in the capital, and the Grandis intend to expose it. First, they must ensure the South is beyond reproach. To advance the scheme, the Grandis must be the, the region with the highest faith in three seasons. So the Counts have to raise defiance of the Chiefs and the Grandis to win. They have to raise it high up, and the Grandis need to uh, have the highest faith in three seasons to win. Okay. 
Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter king lyric. How do we make that happen? Oh, here comes the fucking the North. The North, a bunch of papegas. Doppelganger, prophecy, hornblower. Lol. Imagine being part of the North, the Chiefs. Wow. Wow. Enable the left. What do you mean, enable the left? Oh. Wow. Oh, you all have a thousand gold. Prophecy? Lol. Okay, all right. Now this is everybody's scheme. I said, Black Tyrant is an ancient lord of prophecy. Before the new clan arises, the kingdom will be ruled by a mad tyrant. So if that's a scheme, the chief must raise authority to five or more in two seasons. Okay, so you guys gotta raise your shit. Here you can read the region's schemes and their claimants. When you have an heir, they will be on the right of this page. If your reign ends abruptly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. If this vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats and your heir, if you have one. Yo, how do I get an heir? Let's go, bro. I gotta, I need a, I need a procreate. Do I end the season? A new plague. Oh my God. Of course the fucking Granadis have a new plague. Fuck you, we're not sending aid. Your majesty, the south has been struck with plague and not just any plague, a dancing plague. What? Explain this to me. In the facts have around in dogs and cats. Uh, we don't have uh, story that appears spring quickly, all village, all dance, half death. What the fuck? Quarantine the affected villages, pass a law that forbids dancing. Let it be, how bad is dancing anyways? I mean, shit. Yeah, I think we need to pass a law to forbid dancing. I don't know though, I don't know. Shit, wait, you guys fucking choose? I need to veto this shit. You guys literally, I mean authority goes up and I want authority. So, all good. Actually, yeah, do it up, guys. Whatever. Defiance goes up, though. The grandees are gonna be powerful. Voting has closed. Pass a law that forbids dancing. The mother of the land of the world, happy with the new dance band, which has entered the moniker of the Kantakairos King. What's the other thing that's long as one of my hummus when it's long as one of the other thing that's All right, fuck the south. The honor guard. Now that you're king, you need personal protection. Why I can plunge my sword into your heart Can I not? Please don't hurt me. You need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. And frankly, this is a political decision. What are my options? Each reason, region offers a selection of elite guards, the chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes, the counts with knights of the order of the drowned rose, and the greenies offer the fiercest battle nuns from the sisterhood of steel. Think carefully, your majesty, these guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. There you'd be loyal to coin above all. Ah, uh, what foreign mercenaries do you suggest? A band of fearsome fighters from the Tatterlands called the Battle Bitten Brethren. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they're costly and hiring foreigners will be considered an insult to all the regions. Fuck the regions. I await your verdict. <sighs> Give me the foreign mercenaries. I don't trust anybody. I'll make the arrangements at once. The Battle Bitten Brethren arrive a few weeks later. You're, you've never seen such a gang of huge, unpleasant looking cutthroats sneering and smirking and cleaning their fingernails with daggers. Your fears are as azogged by their commander, a gray haired man who cal calmly explains the service they provide as long as the coin doesn't run out. Those sacrifices to the last man of, on your behalf. I don't trust them. I don't trust anybody. I know there's daggers everywhere. Everybody wants a piece. But they have no loyalty. They'll kill anybody who opposes. Yeah, where the fuck is the last mission? Oh. 
A call for apprentices? This is a player who has bought king. Wait, this is a player who has bought king of the castle. They can set their customizations. Wow. You fucking pay to win. Bad news, your majesty. A meddling wizard has set up shop in Najordar. I believe it is Gordius the Stone Talker. Why is this a problem? He's put out a call for new apprentices, which is a rare event. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for many. Droves of unwashed glory seeking common folk from all over the north are lining up for their chance. Not just peasants, I techware have also decided to apply. The competition will be fierce, but those peasants are no match. I will be the most powerful noble this council has ever seen. You, you couldn't put your clothes on if it wasn't for your servant's help. We can't let this go ahead to have a potential wizard on the council would present clear and dangerous conflict of interest. Then we shall assemble the council. God bless you, your majesty. Should Count Techware be allowed to apprentice under the wizard Gordius in the north? Um. Yeah, he can't be. Wait, oh my god. Wait, my wealth goes down, but his, the treasury goes up? The fuck? Yes. No, no, no. Fuck him. He's gonna end up getting powerful, and then he's gonna start casting spells on the other nobles. Think about this, people. This guy has... He probably doesn't even like the counts. The counts are gonna work not in my favor. Techware to become wow, what the hell is this? You let him you let a wizard this guy is gonna become a wizard and he's gonna come back to the council. Great job, guys. Why the old gods, how will he keep up with this noble dude? He's been spending all his time in the north with this wizard. And what if gods be good? He actually passes his apprenticeship. There's never been a wizard on the council. We'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. You nothing to fear for me, your highness. I'll always have the kingdom's interest at heart, even as a wizard. Okay, buddy. Count Techware sets off immediately on his journey to the north. Gordius's presence in the Jordar attracts all sorts of visitors, though the power of his, ta his land and magic starts to wilt crops for miles around. Wait. Uh-oh. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region, each of which affects a stat. This is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When an auction is open, nobles can fund with the following command. Exclamation point fund a X where X is personal wealth. When you're ready, hit start auction. Oh, this is where, oh, this is where your guys' thousands of gold come to play. Ah, okay. So you guys can only choose. So chiefs can only choose A or B. Counts choose C or D. Grandees chooses E or F. Holy shit, everybody wants a monument. Of course the chiefs want a monument. They need a fucking aqueduct for their infrastructure. But the dumbass North wants a fucking monument. Jesus. This is why no one respects the North. Fucking two-head North. The Counts want an observatory. Alright. The Grandis. Holy shit, they want a cathedral. That makes sense. Okay, okay. I wonder how people in the chat get more money. Yo, Dovamo, what up, dude? All right, guys, I don't think you need a fund anymore. It looks like it. there's no competition. You, some of you guys overfunded. Buildings funded, cathedral, monument, biggest contributor. Dude, dude went all in. Oh, look at you guys. 
Finding a spouse. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. But mother, I don't want to get married. Nonsense. A king cannot rule alone. Don't worry. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Preference? Men? Woman? Or do you not mind? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woman. Excellent. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. What is this? A taxing issue. Is this like actually a taxing issue? Your mother has been bleeding us dry. has been bleeding us dry. Yes. What is he doing? Our taxes are 10 times higher than they've ever been. I can't afford to feed me cows. It's true, your majesty, Grandi Elder has been taxing his peasants at least twice as much as the next highest noble. It's been a hard year, your holiness. I have barely any gold in my vault. I'm just doing what I can to stay afloat. You're clearly having a hard time. I'll let you off. Whoa! This is a matter for the council's consideration. Throw Grenady Eldramasar into the dungeon to teach him a lesson. Allow Grandy Eldramasar to keep overtaxing his peasants. This is all your guys's. Have a royal tax collector take over tax duties in the south. Oh my god. Yo, nice fucking region, Grandis. Lol. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do it up. Do it up. What are you guys going to do? Of course. Oh, my God. Why are you going to throw him in the dungeon? Oh, my God, bro. By the ninth. At the dungeon! Why would you take the side of some poxy peasants? Grandy Elder Miser's flung into your deepest hell and his ill-gotten gold confiscated. The other grandies grumble in the imprisonment of their compatriot. Wow. Defiance is now mutinous. Uh-oh. Grandy Elder his wealth can't go lower. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, what happened with the dancing fever? And the excellent stands before you, hoping frantically from one foot to another as he speaks. The plague, your majesty, is spreading. Why? I think I've been affected myself. Get him out of here! It's a bit late for that, your majesty. After the kingdom is affected by now. You need to do something, or we'll dance ourselves to death. This may look fun, but trust me, it's anything but. Oh, no. Order the nobles to hide in their castles and wait it out. Hire a wizard to sort it out. Infect the nobility as a show of solidarity. Bro, the treasury can't afford a wizard. Okay, it can't be done. Infect the nobility as a show of solidarity. You know what? I agree. I agree. I think that's a great idea. Infect everybody. No. All right, nice. Wow, finally, guys, we agree. We all agree. Not everyone is keen to show solidarity. Still, this is the best way to show the peasants that you are all in this together. You dance your way to the council chambers, chambers every day, then dance your way to dinner, then dance back to bed in your sleep, your feet do a little jig. Eventually, the plague runs its natural course. Now, though, even the hint of a jaunty tune sends half the poppers in a frenzied panic. Many will never dance again. Oh, God. Yes! We continue forth! Yes! Far to the north where snows blanket the landscape and wolves howl in the night, the chiefs uncover an ancient prophecy foretelling the rise of a tyrant king and the warrior who will overthrow him. 
A congregation of God speakers huddle around the tablets, detailing the supposedly ancient story, whispering excitedly. Please, Morgana, the tablets are genuine. Then the gods are good and we are blessed. Ragnar will be our queen. All hail the Lord Render. Cheers circled the clan hall. A mug of veil is tipped over Ragnar's head. The people of the north are rising. Grahala's warriors have already pledged themselves to us. Jesus. The influence of the old gods is spreading. We must ensure we keep the old ways of the north alive. And surely Morgana will bless us with the power of the crown, Ragnar. For the next stage of the chief scheme, they must lower their fate to four in, or less in four seasons. You may collect a common tax or target a specific region. Taxing a region will increase the defiance stat and decrease noble wealth. Alright, fuck the north. Uh, so we're gonna tax the north. Yeah, fuck the north. Alright. Fucking assholes. Okay. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young woman from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance and a partner for life to have and to hold. Don't forget, I suppose so, but the alliance comes first. Oh my God. Your mother leads you to the great hall where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Uh, all right then, let's see the eligible bachelorettes. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Ursa, firstborn daughter of the Northern Jack Parkman clan. Beautiful, isn't she? Apparently she's also exceptionally well-mannered and agreeable for a northerner. I just taxed the northerner. She's gonna kill me. Not interested. I just fucking fucked over the north. This is Xenia, the eldest daughter of the Eastern Daffins dynasty. Forgive the snooty expression. I'm sure that's caused by an errant brushstroke. Uh, spending most of her time indoors, poring over musty tomes. She got in some trouble with the Inquisition a while ago, but it didn't come to anything. She is an intriguing candidate. And finally, from the south, Zenoveva, the eldest daughter of the P is Gaming lineage. What the fuck? She's reputed to have an ego the size of the sun, but there's nothing wrong with confidence. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you get a lifelong alliance. God damn it. I have made my decision. I refuse to marry any of them. Without a manager alone, no alliance and no support, not to mention an insult to the most powerful families in the kingdom. What possible reason could you have for choosing not to marry? I want to live a life of chastity in honor of the ninth god. My heart already belongs to another, a low-born commoner. Oh my god. Oh my god, the love ending. The love ending. Hey, commoner, is that who you've been sneaking out of the past? Meet the public zombie, please. Though I'm sure the common folk will swoon over. Kings don't have the luxury of freedom. You'll learn that sooner or later. Whatever. Fuck the people. Fuck the people. A peasant uprising. Jesus. I have to deal with that every day. Hey, man, the peasants have stayed. And I'm going to see the majesty. In the day that they stormed the castle of my good friend, countless Gruntmaster27, she and her family are currently languishing in her own dungeons. What caused the peasants to rebel? All the usual complaints, the peasants accused Countess Grandmaster of worshipping devils and eating children. Typical superstitious nonsense. How the peasants to make the castle? They brought some of the guards. What are peasants' demands? They want Count Grandma to be stripped of her assets. In return, the rabbit will free her and spare her life. Well, I mean, I'll leave it up to the chat. I don't know. I barely know that person. You know, we'll leave it up to the nobles. The nobles will decide the fate. What do we do? Do we help? Do we help? I don't know. I don't know. Chat, we might next game it here. I mean, this game's kind of cool, but...
Give the peasants what they want. Really? Okay. All right. Productively, the take out the presence. What they want is met with cons uh, consternation and outrage by the counts. They are monsters. They have taken a fortress by force, and you want to give into their demands? As promised, Countess Grandmaster is stripped of her property, and her extensive lands are split up between the peasantry. <coughs> okay. Well, whatever. It's your guys' land. Ain't my problem. Wow. It is an outrage. It is undignified. He can't do this blood and stars. Why is this skeleton in front of me? It's me, Count Techware. Oh, God. My skin starts to petrify and flake away within my first week with Gordius. He said I'm lucky I wasn't turned completely to stone, but now he's cast me out. He says I have no discernible magical acumen, whatever that means. I demand vengeance. Show Gordius what it means to insult a member of King Lyric's council. Oh, God. All right. Uh... Demand compensation, arrest Gordius. A skeleton cannot be a count. Techware's lands must be forfeited. No, you guys can't vote for this, okay? All right, we will have our vengeance. You don't mess with someone on my council like that. He was sent out to learn the ways. Yes! Yes! Did you hear about Counter-Strike 2? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm literally abandoning Variety and just playing that for, like, the next 10 years. So, uh, you guys are gonna have to find a different streamer. I'm over it anyways. I'm over it. Streaming's boring now anyways. I'd rather... I'd rather go out with a Counter-Strike 2. I'd rather... Do nothing, you fox! The council knows not to tangle with wizards. If Tekwa was turned into Skeleton, he probably deserved it. Indignantly, Count Tekwa returns to his old estate where he promptly dies. As it turns out, Proximity of Gordia's magic was the only thing keeping him alive. Wow. You guys killed him. You guys literally killed him. In a picture, X castle overlooking the southern city of Calaville, two grandees lie back to enjoy the sun. Praise be, whisper of our plan have reached the peasants, and they are in an uproar. Their call for the sins of the king to be laid bare. Everyone's saying the counts are trying to induct the king into an immortal cult of blood drinkers. What more could we ask for? We have the High Inquisitor on our side, but we must also sow dissent among the other regions. We won't succeed alone. For the next stage of their schemes, the Grandius must rage other regions' defiance, so a combined total of at least eight. You guys gotta keep raising, um, defiance. Stop, okay, by royal decree, we can tweak the laws governing how the council votes. Nobles must vote for their least favor option, and the option with the least vo votes will pass. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they get plus one authority. The timer is set to 15 seconds and the vote will automatically close once the timer is over. Reverse voting. One or more regions are able to rebel as their defiance stat is higher than both authority and stability. If the rebels get more victory points than the loyalists, they will win the game. If the Loyalists get more victory points, then the Rebels, they'll pull down the Rebellion and continue the game. If multiple regions rebel and win, a vote between the two rebelling regions with their highest stats will determine the successor. Important rebelling regions have their schemes. Pause. Regions with a high military stat are likely to overthrow their arc. If it's... All of you guys are on the verge of rebellion. All right. You guys just... You guys haven't even given me a chance, okay? You haven't even given me a chance. It's near possible to sneak out of the palace at night. The palace watch keeps catching you and dragging you back to your bedroom. But tonight you manage it, bundled up in a dark cloak and hood. You head out to the capital's market district. Your true love is waiting for you on a bridge. Your love's name, of course, is... Jane. She rushes into her arms and presses her mouth to yours. It's a while before anything needs to be said aloud. My love, it's been months since we last saw each other like this. Has it really been months? Yes, why did it take you so long? Um... Duties to the realm. 
Of course, your majesty. She can't get through those last two words without breaking into laughter. What happened to the brash young prince who snuck out to the palace so he could see the real world? That was when you met the love of your life in case you forgot. You don't have to call me your majesty. I know it's just a joke. You'll always just be a lyric to me. We can't keep doing this. Shh, not yet. Let's talk about that later. You and Jane return to her tiny cottage and spend the night together. As usual, you must sneak back to the palace before dawn. But before you leave, she catches your arm. I'm tired of waiting, my love. I can't live like this. We need to get married in the lines of the ninth god for all to see. But I'm the king. Let's get married. Can we just keep seeing each other in secret? The nobles would never stand to it. Let's get married. Thank you, my love. Oh, this is exciting. I can't wait. You put your hood on. Sneak back into the palace. Oh, my God. Avalanche. Hey, Devastate Avalanche was buried in Mountain Village within my domain. There were few survivors. Get fucked, the North. A tragedy. Uh, but there's nothing we can do. The North is a hardy, self-reliant region. There's a little complaint about your lack of help, or at least none that reaches your ears. Yeah, we don't give a fuck. Wow, okay. All right, yo, you guys can do whatever you want to do. All right, you guys can rebel, you northern bitches. Your Majesty, I received a letter from Chief Puzzlas. There's trouble brewing. Ah, uh, so? It's serious, an insurrection all started when the peasants got hungry. They surrounded Chief Puzzles' longhouse and demanded to give up his riches. Uh, does he have riches to give up? According to the peasants, his great-great-great-grandfather was quite a collector of antiquities. He asked the councils to send aid. Uh, you guys vote. One second, chat. Gather northern forces to remove the peasants. Whoa! Oh, this is close. It's not reverse voting. No, I have to tag reverse voting. Oh my god. Five. Four. Three, two, one. The peasants are with their newfound prosperity. She puzzles us so when he, ne he next returns to the council, he sends a pitch dark glare in your direction. Damn! From the east, uh, Count Zero Velocity UK is hosting a dinner party in this castle with a few distinguished guests. Our plans are going better than expected. Not only is the spy master focusing your attention on other issues, he was trying to address us. Here's the lack of attention. No, no, chat. Fuck this game. Next game. It was kind of cool. It was kind of cool, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebel these nuts. All right. Let's see what we got here. The North won? Probably.